everyone this is manoj your german coach now in my this section we are going to talk about tips and tricks to practice or learn prepositions in different cases so we remember we have three cases right we have three cases we have accusative we have dative and we have genitive which have prepositions today we are going to learn the tips and tricks to memorize accusative and dative prepositions only so let's start so what are my accusative prepositions how do you so learn how do we remember these prepositions so there is an acronym you can learn as god buffet ideally there are eight prepositions but we learn seven because there is one middle which is not generally used and gegen is used instead of middle nowadays so what this g stands for g is gegen gegen o stands for owner t stands for doers this stands for this Um, Fewer and black. This is how you can learn accusative prepositions. Now, what are the ways to learn or memorize dative prepositions? Which is again very easy. Dative. You can learn this acronym. Snum bar. this acronym you can learn to memorize dative prepositions where s stands for seit this stands for nach ausa mit bei aus gegen über zu von how these prepositions are used this we are going to talk about in later sessions but here in this session we are going to give you tips and tricks to memorize the prepositions so accusative was god buffet that it is snam bag gb and the last but not the least which the prepositions which are used as accusative and dative are we call it wechsel prepositions and you can learn these prepositions as sunu hawai where this z represents swishan this represents unta neben yuba these are three acronyms let's make a list of the acronyms so far so we have god buffet for accusative we have snam bag for dative and we have for vexen we have sunu so you may learn these acronyms and it will be easy for you to memorize prepositions in german grammar thank you for watching stay tuned subscribe like and share the channel as much as possible to help all the students thank you very much